Da -da -da. Welcome back to part two of this video. If you haven't watched part one, there's a link right there. You can probably just go click it, hopefully. Go. So quickly, let's get back into the colouring process of how I colour hair. So this character obviously is my main character, Natsuki, so I quite... I know how to colour her hair quite well, so this one will be quite quickly. So basically we get our first very very light colour layered down. I usually leave some bits of white showing through the page just because I like to use the actual white for highlight most of the time for Natsuki because her hair is quite a pale purple. And one thing I will suggest you should do when you're colouring hair is try and be free like you're sketching. It is something that I like to do because I feel like I like to try and tangle the hair together and go into different directions and yeah obviously we've already finished that one and we've gone on to the next one. So in this one I leave a lot more white space just because I want to, to make two different tones with one diff with the same colour. So I leave the white space and then let the, hair, the marker dry and then as soon as you go back over it again you have two different tones in the hair already and that's with just one marker and for that marker I used E13, it's my favourite colour. I love it for, for browns. So then we add different darknesses, some different layers, textures, and that just kind of brings it all together. You need to think about which direction the hair is flowing because it needs to keep that centre of gravity again. Like pulling the hair forward will make sure that the hair is going from the back to the front, which is what I think it does, but I don't know, it's really weird, like when you get it in your head you just can't stop and it's hard to explain sometimes. So obviously I put the white gel pen and on the last one. Uh, so this time we're doing a green coloured hair and this time it's quite basic, it's very straightforward and this one is just following the centre of gravity, just going straight down in one motion. and. I personally think this one is quite a nice and simple one to go for. Straight hair is always the easiest to do if you're ever just trying to get into hair. So I would definitely recommend straight hair if you're kind of like a beginner. And basically that one's done. Next this one is probably the one I kind of experimented the mostly on, mostly on. and it's just I wanted to try and make dark kind of blackish hair and I thought maybe try a blue undertone because if you look at hair in light it's not exactly black uh, and it has a, a blue undertone it shines in the light that's for every single hair color so sometimes brown has like this tone of green so for the black hair I thought blue undertones and then put your dark colors on top you just layer it and layer it and then if you look at it under the, the black colour that I use you can actually see the blue shine through which I think is a really nice touch if you're trying to get some more depth into the colour and playing around with colour and stuff. So I would definitely recommend doing that. One thing you need to remember with hair as well is that it's wild. You have, no matter how much you straighten your hair or curl it, it's always going to have tiny little bits sticking out. So very faintly with the with your marker you lightly flick and you get like these nice little flicks off the hair and it kind of gives it a bit of more realistic depth into it which is the main thing in my hair is what I do I love doing the flicks off the hair so finally we have Natsuki again in this small little hair drawing and once again because it's within the it's like blowing in the wind your pen can just go wild. You can blow it around, blow it around, I have no idea. You can just let your wrist go free and let it go in every direction you want because you want it to look organic. That is probably my main word for these drawing hair tutorials. You need to try and make the hair look uh, organic and realistic. Block colours will make it just look cartoony. That's if that's what you're going for. So. 
that is the end of this video and I feel like it's gone a little bit too quick to be fair. So watch my next, my previous video and hopefully I'll see you soon guys. Bye! Bye!